Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. Those in the gospel of God, lifting up the standard of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Uh, this is just a quick lesson through the Spirit. Um, show you why the hell we need salvation from under this devil's domain, this devil's hands. Um, he has shown no mercy to our people. And even at a time that it appears that great mercy is shown, well, the Most High has showed mercy overall. But even in this particular time, when it seems that our people are doing better, it's all part of a, a design, okay, to encapsulate Jake in this system, okay, to get him wrapped around this 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 turmoil that we're wrapped up in as a people, because Esau realized that chattel slavery didn't benefit us benefit him as much. Because he was beating on the slaves and wearing them out. And on top of that, um, it was a lot of slave revolts. See, movies only hit on a handful of slave revolts. But you had more slave revolts than Nat Turner. Okay, in the particular uh, revolts that took place in the South. Okay, you had several slave revolts when Jake tried to free themselves. And also, you have what they call the Gullah Wars. And you can look that up. But um, this is an article which says, For the man... Serving 400 year prison sentence free after being exonerated. Like, when the fuck gets a life sentence? Or who? It's like you. Who the hell gets a healthy sentence of 400 years in prison for a fucking robbery? Like, that's unheard of. And technically, Esau can't give you a life sentence for robbery. So, therefore, <laughs> he puts, I give you 500 years. Like, what man on the planet Earth has ever lived that? That, that long in this day and age. Okay, he's acting like with Methuselah or something. Like the, the, the oldest man, I believe he lived up to like 983, I think, or 960 or something like that. But he was the oldest man that walked the planet Earth, Methuselah. Okay, but after uh, the flood, men's life form have been cut down dramatically. Like Moses, I believe he lived 120 years. But the scriptures give us three score and 10 years, which is uh, uh, 70 years because a score is 10. And three score is 60, okay? And three score and 10, which is 70. But he get his man 400 years, <laughs> which shows you, you might as well just gave him life, man. Because, I mean, 400 years in prison, he's going to die in prison. That's a way of saying life without saying life. Because Esau likes to justify himself, you fucking devil, man. That's why when we get you in slavery, bro, we ain't going to show no mercy to you, Edomites. Because I notice as time progresses, as their kingdom is falling... Esau is getting more careless, okay? He's getting less, more complacent. He's getting less merciful, which he never was merciful anyway. It was always an agenda behind his madness, but he's getting more and more just straight up uptight on Jake to the point he's not even trying to help Jake or he's not even trying to uh, uh, extend an olive branch to Jake, which he's not really, he don't have to, honestly speaking. Like, I mean, honestly speaking, we shoot ourselves in the foot because we expect so much from this devil, but you have to realize he's the devil, Okay, and when you realize he's the devil and you're gonna reap <laughs> you're gonna uh uh reap devilish results, that's what you have to expect, okay? When you're dealing with Esau, you have to expect the worst, okay? Hope for the best, but expect the worst. But just say if you get caught running a red light and a ticket for that is $150, expect him to give you the max, man. Don't expect him to throw that shit out, man. Just expect the ticket to be a thousand dollars, but hope for the best. Okay, not saying that that will be the case, but with this man, you never know. That's why I behooves you Jakes, man, and tell you the scripture say agree with thy adversaries quickly because, see, a lot of you Jakes, you don't realize when you get stopped at the red light, that may be the final, that, hey, that may be, that can very well be the, the end of your life. Okay, so just have it in mind that when Esau comes up behind you, you can very well be living your last, breathing your last breath, man, because that's how wicked and sinister and evil and diabolical this man is. 400 years for a fucking robbery, but yet you stole America, but yet you played a victim. You... Oh, man, but anyway, it says a man who served more than three decades. That's 30 fucking years, man. Excuse my French of a 400 year prison sentence for armed robbery. Charges were free Monday after being exonerated. It says Sidney Holmes was convicted of uh, convicted in April of 1989 for a 1988 robbery in which he was accused of being a getaway driver. Holmes was greeted by his family as he walked free Monday and said the first thing he wanted to do was get something to eat. <laughs> Times are different from 1989, man. You know, shit, they ain't have smartphones then. At least you didn't. The government did, but you did. But that's 
the, the, he was a getaway driver. Now I don't know the limitations of that, just being a getaway driver. But you act like he he's basically was charged for basically robbing the guy, whoever the hell he robbed, you know. But it says we have one rule here that Broward State Attorney's Office do the right thing always. Sure, as prosecutors, our only agenda is to promote public safety in our community and to ensure that justice is served. Well, if that is the case, then you will render yourself slaves on the is Israelites, man. You will literally give up this land. You will throw yourself in subjection and you will give up everything you've stolen. Okay, if you're so concerned about public and community safety, you will get the fuck out of this country. You will just ostracize yourself into one side of the world and never come. You will build a corner or a hut or go back to Petra or the Mount the, uh, uh, Basra or wherever the hell you're from. And stay there and don't do no more wickedness. If you want the world to see peace or, or get a bunch of crackers, go in a goddamn spaceship and launch yourself to outer space and all of you just jump out the damn spaceship if you really want to bring stability and peace. Because the only way this world is going to see peace and stability is when you go. Okay, as long as you're around, there's going to be problems. There's going to be sickness. There's going to be diseases. There's going to be fucking confusion. There's going to be momos. There's going to be debaucherous acts. Okay, there's going to be adultery. There's going to be murder. There's going to be war. As long as you fucking are around, it's going to be a problem, man. Okay, like they say with a cancer, in order for you to kill cancer, you have to attack it at the source and you have to rid it out the body. You have to be contained, bro. Okay, it's a such thing as, as containing the cancer, but eventually you just got to destroy it. Because who the hell wants to live with cancer in their body forever when you can just cure it? All right, prevalent to the kingdom of heaven. Yeah, we're going to contain that cancer. But you know, we're just going to do away with it after a thousand years, bro. And your time is expiring, bro. And you know what, man? We say that so much to the point. It's like, damn, you know, we say that. But this man really need to get up out of here. When we say it, you need to literally go down like today, bro. Like, it's for real. The Lord has to take you down, man. Okay, you have to be taken out. For your own fucking benefit. I mean, this planet Earth has never seen them. The, 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 hey, we get it. In Maccabees, it says when uh, uh, Alexander generals died, basically evils were multiplied in the Earth, man. Okay, you devils and your fucking ju your justice system is all tainted. Okay, it's, it's, it's all fortified by wickedness. Okay, you pray to these particular gods, these demons. And you would, uh, uh, you, you uh, extol them to the clouds and you judged on it. You see, but it says, I commend the victim, witness and law enforcement officers for their candor and assistance in reinvestigating a crime that occurred more than 34 years ago. But it says Holmes have been convicted of acting as a getaway driver for two men who robbed two people at gunpoint and stole one of the victim's car just west of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, on June 19, 1988, according to the state attorney's office. The two robbers remain unidentified. OK, that's funny how they didn't identify them, but they caught the getaway driver, right? And a lot of time Esau know those cases that Jake be innocent, you know, from doing the crime. But you see, Esau let a nigga sit in there 30 years because he know he's going to have to exonerate him sooner than later. But he'd rather for Jake to sit in prison and he have to give up hundreds of thousands of dollars to pay to Jake. He'd rather for you to sit in prison to break you psychologically because the whole point of this devil is to break you psychologically, man. Like Elder Ayathan did a beautiful lesson today titled that this devil's job is to continue to Jake to keep us stressed out. OK, like they say stress is engineered and I can really believe that because for everything in this world, in this current setup, there's a stress aggregator that 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 fucks with you, man, from the foods you eat. OK, from the people you're around, from the television, from work, it's all designed to stress you out. And that's what happens. The scriptures goes into a, a basically the man dying of a sorrow. It's basically a sorrow of mind or heavy heart. Men die from that. That's that stress. You have what they call stress related heart attacks, man. That's why a lot of Jake get diabetes. Of course, they diet plays a role in it. But a lot of Jake get sick because their, their, their stress responses are fucking high, man. You know? The, 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 the dopamine effects is just totally out of whack. You know, they, they, they're just all... They're, they're stress hormones, man. You, you're just all over the place and you get into things that's not healthy. You can't meditate. And you're constantly thinking and thinking and worrying to the point you're just drop dead, man. You get all types of diseases. Because when you're stressed, your your immune system shuts down. You know, that's the reason why we got to really just meditate on your how about you and how we shy, bro. And just take it a day at a time, no matter what you're going through. Because if you let it, this place will really, just, this place is meant to kill us, man. Normally, Jake's are, are in a hospital for stress-related high blood pressure, man. Like I was doing some research on hypertension. 
You know, they say food and everything plays an effect in that. But, of course, comfort foods. You know, you're stressed out. Then what you do, you go get a Big Mac, you eat that. And then before you know it, your ass is on some type of kidney dialysis, man. It's crazy. But it says, Holmes contacted the state attorney's conviction review unit in 2020 and told investigators he was innocent. Then uh, it says the CRU or the crew <laughs> then determined that Holmes had a plausible claim of innocence. Yeah, sure. How many times did he contact them, though, over the years? It says during Cruz reviews of Holmes' case, it determined eyewitness identification of Holmes during the initial investigation. <laughs> Damn, allergies. Uh, was likely incorrect and in that there was no evidence connecting Holmes to the robbery outside of the flaw identification. An investigation launched by the brother of one of the victims also found that Holmes' car was likely misidentified at the time that the key differences between his old mobile and the one used for the robbers were overlooked, prior said. They just wanted to convict the nigga. But it says, based on the reviews, five or six, uh, what is this, panelists voted that Holmes was innocent and his conviction should be thrown out immediately. <laughs> the victim in both cases said they thought Holmes should be released, but deputies involved in the original investigation were also shocked. Holmes served 34 year years in prison and had been sentenced to 400 years. The nonprofit OIC of South Florida's is set to help homes with reintegration services along with a job and training placement. Get the fuck out of here. What no fucking, man, y'all pay me, man. Give me a million dollars for every y'all spent in that motherfucker, man, unjustly. At least you can do that fucking job. You take me out of fucking slavery to put me in more slavery? This man probably don't even know how to turn on a computer. That's why you fucking Edomite's gonna pay, man. I, I'm, now I'm getting mad, you know, but let me hold my composure. This is James 2 and 13. It says, for he should have judgment without mercy that have shown no mercy. Esau haven't shown a lick of mercy to you niggas. I don't give a damn if he give you a job. I don't give a damn if he give you a bite to eat, man. He can buy you, he can buy you a thousand dollars worth of groceries. Guess what? At the end of the day, it's all earned and merited. Okay? Because he, 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 he owes us. You jigs built up this fucking country for free. With sweat, blood, and tears, man. You know, like I was watching 12 Years of a Slave yesterday, man. They literally stripped Jake from their families and they did it to break us psychologically, man. And you think that we, but we're still working and paying taxes, right? All you Negroes, man, you should be revolting right now. But guess what? The scripture says, is Israel a homeborn slave? Is he a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Yes, he is. Okay, because you Jakes, man, you just don't, you don't care. Okay, you cool with having a nine to five, man. I fucking hate working. All right, because it ain't in our spirit to work. We were kings and princes, man. Okay. And it says uh, that have shown no mercy may rejoice against the judgment, man. And that it says judgment without mercy that have that have shown no mercy and mercy rejoiceth against judgment. Okay. Because even when the Lord judges us, it was still mercy. Like the scriptures say, even when thou was angry, when the scriptures goes into when uh, the Lord comes to, to, to anger basically remembers judgment in a time of wrath so even then it's still judgment when the lord like right now technically yahweh bashim yahweh totally justify on destroying our nation but it was still judgment because look we got his name back we got the truth back you know and and and, and look man but what do esau do he stick it in but these are the same people that cry out for justice when they feel like they're getting unwrongly or unjustly done man it ain't nothing worse enough that you can't, that, that can't happen to this man. Anything that happened to him is, is justified. It says, judge that ye be not judged. It says, for with judgment ye judge, ye should be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it should be measured to you again. So we're going to lay it on your ass double the times, Esau. Okay, you're going to get twice as much as harshness. Because you laid it on us twice, so we're going to put it on you four times, which is double. You know? And it says, and why beholdest thou the moat that is in thy brother's eye? Because isn't Esau technically our brother? Technically, he's our brother. He's our evil brother. Okay, he has, it was not the covenant. Okay, but he's technically our brother. And he was supposed to abide by the laws of the Most High. Because, hey, both of us came out of the tents of Isaac, man. Okay, but considers not the beam in our own eye. Like, he had straight up throw Jake in jail for selling drugs. But yet, the government and the CIA is the one that supplied the drugs. Like, but they get away with it. Like, when you watch that show, Snowfall... Going into the Contras and so forth like that when they smuggled the cocaine. The CIA smuggled crack cocaine into the neighborhoods in the 80s, man, and flooded the streets. And Jake was out dealing it. Yet they're going to give a nigga 135 years, give him Buck Rogers numbers, 
But yet, nobody is persecuting the CIA or incriminating the CIA for doing it. See how wicked this place is? That's why hey, he can't go down fast enough, man. All right. This is the book of uh, Micah. And it says, woe to the oppressors. It says, woe to them that advise iniquity. Iniquity is sin on top of sin and work evil upon their beds. This law, these laws that they come up with, draconian methods is to persecute Jake to the fullest extent. Like you Jakes that live in places like Iowa, Indiana, Kansas, you know, the little small hick towns in, in, in Missouri and so forth down south. And you niggas out there trying to be D-boys, man, you better consider where you at. Like down there in Jackson, Mississippi, they're bringing back Jim Crow 2.0. Basically, they basically they they want to bring back the fucking uh, 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 the, the lynching. They want to bring back lynching. One of them senators was speaking about a governor or a city officials down there. One of them, them devils, they were speaking on it. They're like, well, look, man, we want to bring back the noose. Okay, they just found the Jake down there with his body dismembered, head cut off. So, hey, man, you Jake's, man, you better wake up and smell the coffee, man. All right, don't be don't be underestimating these devils because hey, their they their nature has not changed, man. Okay, they just in disguise mode. But the serpent, the nature of the serpent, the violence of this serpent, he's getting ready to show his head, man. And when he come down with great wrath, hey, don't be surprised. Like I'm not surprised, man. I, I'm I'm clearly not surprised. I don't trust not a Edomite, man. I don't give a damn if they are nice or giving me the shirt off their back. I don't trust one of them, man, because one minute they with you, next minute they. Why the hell I help this nigga? Because in their spirit, they want to see you through. They want to see you dead. You know? It says, uh, in their beds, and when the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand through their court systems. Okay, like right now, down in the city courts, the appellate courts, state courts, the federal courts, supreme courts, they're conjuring up ways right now over, over books on how to fuck up Jake or how to keep Jake in a state of deplorability, man. To keep their minds stressed out. To keep them in a, a constant state of fear and delirium. That's all they do is write up laws to oppress our people more. How can we make them suffer this day? How can we make them suffer that day? We're really in the land of our captivity, man. This is really not our rest. But see, because you niggas got out the cage for some time, you know, you ain't you ain't on 23, log 20, 24, you ain't on 23 and 1 no more. You got access to the prison yard. So with access to the privilege, prison yard comes with certain privileges depending on how good of a slave you are. Some of you niggas have got BMWs, Mercedes Benz, okay, Hellcats. Some of you guys got Maybachs, Bugattis, man. Some of you niggas got private jets, man. Okay? Some of you niggas, uh, you got your own penthouse in the jail. But you're staying to forget that you're still, you're still in jail. You know? Like a um, lesson I did a few years ago, probably back in 2018, it was something called uh, school to prison pipeline. The school system forementions or it foreshadows the prison pipeline system. Like the public school systems are directly set up to send most Jake Mills to the county jail as they get older. Okay, because it conditions them to be in jail. That's why when Jake go to jail, man, they do that time. Because, hey, what kid can literally sit in the classroom for eight hours, man? You ain't even around your parents that long. But yet you got to have your children being supervised by a bunch of people you don't know. Pushing faulty agendas, destroying the, the minds of the child. You never know what they're doing or what they're saying to your children when you ain't around. But yet your kids are in school from 630 to 330 every fucking day, uh, 40 hours a week, five days a week, man. And they're only around you half that time. So who, who are they getting influenced by? Teachers, OK, and the things around them. So your teaching time to your children is very limited compared to what they're intaking. OK, you're one influence versus the three, four hundred other influences on top of the curriculums they pushing in school, okay, which is jail bait, basically, you're up against a monster, man. It's a fucking impossible battle to win. You know? But it says, because it is in the power of the hen, it says, and they covet fields and take them by violence, and houses take them away, so they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. Like, we can't even call ourselves Israelites without being labeled hate group. Oh, you're anti-ass. I, I can say I'm a Hebrew Israelite. They're going to look at me like I'm, you know, you, you go to work saying you're Hebrew Israelite. All of a sudden, you know, <laughs> you, you, you go to work next week and you drink out of the water fountain. Your ass got an autoimmune disease, man. It's like, damn, you know, the, the traps and snares is in, in everywhere the way. That's why the scriptures say that this is the land of darkness. All right. And when the scriptures put emphasis on these particular terms, believe what the scriptures say, man. 
Okay, don't lean on your own understanding because, like I said, Jake forget what they they seem to forget where they at. All right. Uh, this is the book of uh, uh, Isaiah forty two, and I'm gonna start at verses uh. Let's start at verses uh, twenty two. It says, "But this is a people robbed and spoiled, and they are all of them snared in holes. They are hidden prison houses." And they are for a prey and none delivered. Right. We are for a prey. OK, that's why Jake got some which is called the trap. You got some which is called the trap entrapment because basically the activities you're engaging in, you know, it, it gets you caught up in the um, in the system. Like uh, they got some which is called bait trucks or bait trains. What happens is Esau puts some goods out in the hood, you know, the, the hood that is lacking of resources. And then, you know, Jake being in a desperate state, you know, and, and the glitz and glamour that they are advertising on TV, Jake really want that life because there's a desire to be free and to rule. Esau go and dangle the carrot before the string, you know, or dangle the string before the, or whatever, however it goes. And then Jake go and fall for the bait and get locked up, the trap. Okay, it happens all the time. You know, look at them Jakes in Chicago that got access to RPGs and shit, man. Fucking SKs, uh, uh, fucking, uh, uh, machine, I mean, uh, what do you call those things? Rocket launches, military grade weapons without serial numbers. How the hell you think that shit get in the hood? Esau coming, he drop off that care pack and, and niggas, they gonna go for it. You know, trust me, we've seen it. Um, But it says, but this is a people robbed and spoiled and they are all of them snared and hosed. The projects, they're hidden prison houses and therefore prey and none delivered and for a spool and none said was stored, man. You know, coincidentally, every innocent Jake end up spending three or four decades behind prison before he's exonerated. <laughs> what are the chances of that? If that isn't a deliberate uh, attack, a means to destroy you psychologically, man. All right. Uh, one last precept. This is the book of uh, Isaiah 14. And I'm going to start at two. It says, and the people should take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, man. And they should take them captives who captives they were, and they should rule over their oppressors, man. I can't wait to rule over Esau, bro. Straight up, man. I can't wait to rule over Esau, man. Like that cocksucker that I showed in the video yesterday that shot the bear off the cliff, being a devil. He and his feelings now, because basically I got seven days to take the video down because I use his punk ass video. He's giving me seven days to take it down because he's butt hurt. Well, you know what? It don't matter, man. The video reach whoever need. Everybody know you're a bunch of damn devils, man. So I hope you're watching this. If you flag this too, if you if you so hurt, fucking clown. But anyway, um, and it says, and it should come to pass in a day that the Lord should give thee rest from thy sorrows. I'm ready, bro. We're tired. It says, and from thy fear and from the hard bondage when thou was made to serve. Hard bondage. This is a hard bondage, man. Okay, you're constantly under a state of duress, bro constantly worrying and that's what kills jake stress man because every time you look around a bill somebody want to sue you you got to go to the hospital your insurance ain't kicking in your car insurance is high your woman is acting up your kids is acting up you get diabetes the food is trash man okay somebody's trying to evict you you get into a fucking car wreck okay you get a court paper oh you get child support alimony your wife is divorcing your ass and it, it just goes on and, and it's, it's, it's many levels to stress. And then he manufactured foods to to complement that stress, to add more stress. You know, Jay go get a bucket of fried chicken and before you know it, his ass is in cardiac arrest, man. Body hurting, man. You know, new illnesses. Fucking the C19. Ain't fully recovered from that. The flu. OK, AIDS. It, it, just, it just never fucking stops, bro. To the point it's like, damn, why even go outside? It never stops. I see why certain people just go and live out in, in, in fucking isolation, bro. To, to, to not deal with the stress of everyday life. And even then, when you try to go off the grid, they come find you. Because he's going to make it to the point you have to depend on him and his system. That's the reason why they're doing all these bank runs. Because now the feds is talking about uh, instant payments by July. Meaning they're going to try to set this cashless society up by July. Because the pilot programs were set to go for 12 weeks, which is a test, and it was to end in March. So they wanted to set up the digital system between now and July. And a couple of articles was hitting in June, July. So we'll see, man. But the quicker he set this shit up, man, the better. I just pray that when he set up the CBDC, that he surprised everybody with this micro C hip. I hope that shit is a two-part deal. Because honestly, I'm not trying to wait a whole another fucking five years just for this nigga to bring out the chip. Just bring out the fucking chip already, man. 
You know? Sitting here, oh, you know you got the motherfucker, you want to roll it out, you want to wait five years. Nigga, just had the, M- the micro C hip, tell motherfuckers, look, when we go cashless, in order for you to get your money, you got to take the RFID, you know what? Do that, man. Don't be waiting no fucking five years on no volatile shit. You know it's going to fail anyway. Don't be waiting another year to pass it. Go fucking do it now, man. Got to wait five years for you to make another move. Nah, nigga, make your move, man. You ain't going to win any fucking way. And it says, and thou should take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, how have the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. He called his ass the oppressor, man. And you can look that up. You, you know, brothers, look that up. I'm not going to look it up today. But it says, the Lord has broken the staff of the wicked, which is you Edomites, and the scepter of the rulers. And he who smote the people in wrath with the continual stroke. And he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindered, man. Man, bro. Tch, can't wait, bro. Because the scripture is going to say, is this the one who not opened the prison? Uh, the, yeah, matter of fact, uh, verse 17, it says that the world was made as a wilderness because it's constant wars. And destroyed the cities thereof that opened not the house of his prisoners. <laughs> yep. So, hey, man. Anyway, with that, all praises and glory and honor that is due to you. How about Shimmy? How was Shy? And with that, Shalom and a Baba Ball.